Welcome viewers, our topic today is on drug discovery. In this video, we will explain the process and steps involved in making a drug from discovery to commercialization. If you are new here, welcome, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos in life sciences. Let's dive into the topic for today. What is drug discovery? In the fields of medicine, biotechnology and pharmacology, drug discovery is the process by which new candidate medications are discovered. The process of identifying and developing new medications to treat diseases is a complex and multi-step process that involves several stages, from the initial identification of a potential drug target to the final approval and marketing of the drug. Drug discovery is a process. Typically, it can be divided into four main stages, early drug discovery, preclinical phase, clinical phases, and regulatory approval. Early drug discovery. The first stage of drug discovery is the identification of a potential drug target. This can be done through various methods, such as studying the genetic makeup of a disease, analyzing the molecular structure of a disease-causing organism, or identifying a unique chemical or biological feature of a disease. Once a potential drug target has been identified, researchers can then begin to develop a compound that can interact with the target in a specific and desired way. Screening of leads and hits. The next stage is the screening of large numbers of compounds to identify those that have the desired properties and can interact with the target. This is typically done through high-throughput screening, which uses automated systems to test thousands of compounds at once. The compounds that show promise are then further tested in laboratory studies and animal models to assess their safety, efficacy, and potential side effects. The hit to lead stage starts with confirmation and evaluation of the initial screening hits and is followed by synthesis of analogs also known as hit expansion. Preclinical development. One of the key stages in this process is the preclinical stage, which is the stage that precedes the clinical trial stage. In this stage, the drug is tested in a laboratory setting using various techniques such as cell culture and animal models to assess its safety and efficacy. Identifying Potential Candidates The preclinical stage is an essential step in the drug discovery process as it allows scientists to identify potential candidates for further development. In this stage, scientists use various techniques such as high-throughput screening, computational drug design, and molecular modeling to identify potential drug candidates. High-throughput screening is a technique that allows scientists to test thousands of compounds at once to identify those that have the desired activity. Computational drug design and molecular modeling are computer-based techniques that use mathematical models and simulations to predict the behavior of potential drug candidates. Assessing safety and efficacy. Once a potential drug candidate has been identified, it is then tested in cell culture and animal models to determine its safety and efficacy. Cell culture is a technique used to grow cells in the laboratory, and it is an essential tool for studying the effects of drugs on cells. Animal models, such as mice, rats, and primates, are used to study the effects of drugs on living organisms. These models allow scientists to test the drug's safety and efficacy in a living system before it is tested in humans. Pharmacokinetics and Pharmacodynamics Assessment The preclinical stage is also where scientists determine the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of the drug. Pharmacokinetics is the study of the movement of drugs in the body, including how the body absorbs, distributes, metabolizes, and excretes the drug. Pharmacodynamics is the study of how drugs interact with the body and how they affect the body. This information is crucial for understanding the drug's safety and efficacy and for determining the appropriate dose for clinical trials. Quick Summary In conclusion, the preclinical stage is an essential step in the drug discovery process. 
It allows scientists to identify potential drug candidates, test their safety and efficacy in cell culture and animal models, and determine their pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. This stage is crucial for ensuring that only the most promising drug candidates are selected for further development, and it plays a vital role in advancing the discovery of new drugs. Clinical Phase The final stage of drug discovery is clinical development. This involves testing the compounds in human clinical trials to gather more information about their safety, efficacy, and potential side effects. Clinical trials are divided into several phases, starting with small, early-stage trials to test the safety of the drug and then progressing to larger, more advanced trials to test its efficacy in treating the targeted disease. Towards Regulatory Approval After the clinical trials are completed, the data is analyzed and used to make a submission to regulatory authorities, such as the U.S. Food and Drug Administration or the European Medicines Agency. If the drug is approved, it can then be marketed and prescribed to patients. Quick Summary The development of new drugs is a challenging and multifaceted endeavor that encompasses various stages, ranging from identifying potential targets to obtaining approval for marketing. It necessitates a blend of scientific proficiency, cutting-edge technology, and substantial financial investment. Despite the low success rate and prolonged time frame, the successful discovery and launch of new medications can bring about significant improvements in disease management, enhance patient outcomes, and have a substantial impact on society. Future Perspectives The decline in productivity within the global pharmaceutical industry is a well-documented and pressing issue for both industry professionals and those in the life sciences field. To address this trend, the industry is shifting towards a more open and decentralized model of innovation, moving away from a traditional centralized approach. As a result, drug development teams are becoming smaller and more specialized, with individuals taking on broader responsibilities for various aspects of early drug development. This includes project-specific collaborations, strategic partnerships, and large multi-party consortia, each with its own unique advantages and challenges. Additionally, the use of big data is being explored as a means to leverage existing information for drug discovery and development, however, ensuring compliance with informed consent and privacy regulations is a critical challenge. Despite these limitations, Big data has the potential to increase the efficiency of future drug development.